So, I know a lot of y'all want to know kind of updates on my evil twin over here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and soon people think that he, he's funnier. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, laugh it up, Chach. Okay, so Chase is actually interviewing. Now, you've gone through about four rounds of interview for the Wounded Warrior, right? Carry the 12, yes. Wounded now, Warrior Project. Yeah, now obviously we don't want to jinx anything, but everything's going really well, and that's actually the biggest reason why he would move up to D.C., and then I would just tag along because I have no other friends, and I'm, you know, what's keeping me in Richmond? He's Here, boy. Like, come on, come on. Exactly. Come on. Chase is like, I'm moving to California. He's like, I guess I gotta go to California. <laughs> But uh, we'll, you know, in the next coming yeah. weeks, we'll be more of set in stone on the, you know, transitioning lives. Big things. We're like a team. We're like a, you know, if we were to interview for like a job doing like janitorial things. Is that what, janitorial? Yeah. Janitorial, we'd go wearing tuxedo. We'd we would interview them. Let's flip, let's flip the script. Let's flip the script. <laughs> let's <laughs> shut them off. My how the turntables. My how the turntables. That's a totally different I get my merds wixed up. But yeah. Good luck, Chase. This whole daylight savings thing is really mess with my filming abilities. I like, fi I like filming in the uh. What, you have a joke, Chase? You want to say a joke? Yeah, I did. Come on, say something funny. I already messed it up. Already messed just say it. Say it. Just go ahead and say it. Daylight savings time, I'm more of a checkings kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> this dungeon trap looking device, we're trying to maximize two features into one squat rack, so squat bench. But if you do it like this, then when the plates are here, it's gonna hit this. We're gonna switch this into meow, and put this out meow, and then it'll be great. What's up guys? Uh, so in the gym, doing some accessory movements. I, well, I guess you, you say accessory movements, but I'm using this as my bench movement for today. And that's gonna be close grip bench press, one of my favorite accessory exercises to aid the bench press, to help the walkout, to help, help the tricep strength, to build the bench press up. Working with 225 today for a whole bunch of sets of three pause. So I'm not gonna show you all the sets, just wanna kinda of talk about the exercise in general, why I love it. I think the biggest reason why I love it is because it will, it will, it'll let you know when you're, when you're taxed out. Tricep extensions for me, or tricep movements like this, like the close grip bench, you can be repping, 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 and all of a sudden you're just like dead, dead. So this is something you don't want to jump too heavy in the weight in because you want to actually work up and build up a tricep strength. So 225, bunch of reps. sets of three. So, a lot of volume, short amount of reps. Let's do a little more heavy. A little more heavier, more more weight, heavier weight. More, more heavier. More heavier, more heavier. Okay, so we're moving on to set number four. Again, with these, I take somewhat short rest breaks uh, because uh, this isn't something that overly tax me, but I want to uh, tension up my triceps and I want to make it as hard as possible so I don't kind of dilly-dally and I'm not PRing. So 225 isn't necessarily the heaviest of weight, but it's something that will get harder the more sets that I do with it. Like by sets eight, nine, and 10, uh, I'm gonna be pretty, that's tired. Max needs his own subtitles. Yabro, yabro. Also, uh, for close grip bench, I'll actually bring it lower on my chest. So I don't wide grip, I'm bringing pretty much my nipples. A wide grip, I mean like standard grip, but, but lower to keep my elbows like really tucked down. Like I keep like this, but close, it's even more tucked. I'll bring it to like right around my, my sternum, like a little, your little cavern where if you were a uh, sea otter, you were like, that's how they eat the food, isn't it? Yes. Marking my sets on the plate so I don't forget. Wah! Sometimes you have to get out of your little hermit crab shell and experiment a little bit. 
I think a lot of people assume that if you're doing triceps, you need to do it to tax out your body after you do chest, or you know, you're going in for a tricep and bicep day where you'll focus specifically around that. And it's not always the case. You know, sometimes you get your comfort zone and you try new things. This is a day that's really focused specifically around the strengthening of my triceps rather than you know strengthening my chest. What's great about the close grip bench is it kind of incorporates both. But it's definitely going to focus more specifically on the triceps. And, you know, I'm doing a regular bench here for, I think, like six or seven sets of pause of 230 pounds to kind of tax out the triceps, tax out the bench a little more. And then I move into a little bit of more bench accessories and tricep accessories. So, again, this was a day focused around triceps. Give it a try. If you've never done it, I promise you might even like it. Enjoy. Okay, so I haven't done this in a long time, but I'm actually going to move on to some incline dumbbells. Get a little more volume in, I already got my strength stuff in, and then I'm going to do some tricep work after this. I'm going to tax out my chest a little more, tax out my triceps a little more, and then tax them out even more. It's tax season, guys. Make sure you do taxes. I've done yet. So, I literally used that joke 10 seconds ago. We'll, uh, we're he told me it wasn't the funny. 80s. So I hope that you enjoyed kind of an insight about, you know, some of the other movements that I do and a little more explanation about why I do them, my preferences when I do them. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these, I guess, semi-informative videos. I try to just, you know, give a little tips here and there, but not make necessarily entire videos about specific maybe training tips, which I could definitely do more of, incorporate more in my videos. So let me know if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. His favorite pizza place? Uh, eh, Domino's is pretty good. I wasn't asking if this is your favorite place. Uh, what is yours? Well, here in Richmond, it's gonna be Belmont Pizzeria. No. Yes. Chinello's. No, Chain is gonna be Papa John's, of course. What's your favorite type of pizza? Pepperoni mushroom. Boom! Extra. Sausage, pepperoni, pineapple, and chicken mushroom, pineapple. I'm gonna enjoy this. Look at this, look at my hair. <laughs> gonna enjoy this. I was like flat, it's like I'm bald. Like I can't feel my hair. It's like so matted down. <gasps> I know. 
and no. enjoy, eat, eat this, and then I think we're watching Entourage. You should never do that ever again. Come on, man. <laughs> Put the beanie back on. <laughs>